Joining us on the line now from Hofstra, we have head coach Joe Mahalik and also senior guard DeJour Bowie. Gentlemen, how are we doing today? We're doing great. 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 Whenever I'm with this guy, I'm great. <laughs> you know, it's, it's when I'm not with this guy that I, that I get a little nervous. But if I'm if I'm with this Zero Bowie, I'm not I'm not nervous. I'm I'm okay. <laughs> that sounds great, hey, Coach. Uh, obviously, the hottest team in the CAA right now, a six game winning streak. Uh, how what were some of the keys to success over the last few weeks? Well, first of all, you didn't watch our practice today because you wouldn't be talking about any winning streaks. You'd be talking about the end of the winning streak because our practice was uh, pretty pretty horrible today. But uh, I don't know. What do you What do you think were some of the keys? I I would speak to our. I feel like on defense we're really yeah. And Dejour, you know, this being your senior year, how much fun are you having right now? I know you've been part of a long winning streak, you know, especially last year, but especially this one currently, and you being a senior, uh, how much are you enjoying this moment right now? I'm enjoying every moment. I've been enjoying every moment since the summer. I know it's my last go around. I'm trying to make everything count, so I'm just enjoying and embracing every moment. Coach, one player that's really kind of stepped up during this winning streak and has improved throughout the season is Isaac Conte. Just kind of talk about his contributions a little bit. I think uh, I've said this before through the year. I think people forget that he he um, basically went two years without playing a game. I mean, he, he was at Georgia two years ago. and He didn't get any time as a freshman. Uh, and then he came last year and had to sit. And, you know, if you don't play in games for two years, that's going to, that's gonna, you know, there's got to be a little bit of a, of a uh, of a recovery type uh, to to the to the transition where you get comfortable again playing basketball, being on the court, and whether it's your conditioning, whether it's that, whether it's getting the speed of the game, the you know whatever the whistles blown by referees. Um, so I think it just took some time for him to do that, and and now I think he's got his legs underneath him, and he's he's uh, he's playing well, and I think he can even play better. He would tell you that. And to sure, as of your game right now, you, you really the mentality for you in many ways looks like it's changed from you know being the facilitator last year to being the playmaker this year. Uh, just talk about th that off season, that change, and, and how you were able to implement it going into this year and in the in the season that you're having. Um, that's a credit to my teammates and my coach. They believe in me so much. They allowed me to do what I do. Um, I'm just comfortable with my teammates and, and the coaches, and I'm just out there playing my game. It's like I'm not going out there like, oh, I'm going to shoot oh, shots, 15 shots a day. No, I'm just playing the game and giving – I'm taking whatever the game gives me. You know, Bobby, DeJour has, has – has, he's just – he has this gift. But he just understands what he's supposed to do and when he's supposed to do it. And I'm not just talking about taking a shot or not taking a shot. I'm talking about how to act in the locker room, how to act – in the classroom, how to act, I'm sure, with his family. And it's, it's a gift. It's just an absolute gift that a lot of people don't have. He does the right thing at the right times. And I'll take it a step further. He knows how to do it. You know, sometimes he's, the other day, he was getting on one of our teammates for throwing a lazy pass. We're not going to mention Jalen's name, are we? Jalen, right? He got on him. But it was the way he got on him. He knew sometimes you get on him and sometimes you just grab him and put your arm around him and say, hey, come on, now you're better than that. But he, um, he just has a gift. He has a gift. It's something you can't teach, something you can't coach. It's just something that you appreciate. And, Coach, you know, DeJour being one of your seniors, obviously, with their team now, uh, at the top of the league standings with only two weeks remaining, and, and not to look too far ahead, but if this team were to accomplish another regular season title, that would be too straight, especially for the senior class. It will be only the ninth program in CA history to accomplish this. Uh, what would that mean to you to see the senior class to get another regular season title? Well, again, you didn't watch our practice today. So we, 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 the last thing in the world we'd be talking about is is doing that. I mean, I, I think when you start thinking about four games instead of one, yeah, you're going to lose one. I don't, I don't know. About that. I don't it's just, it's just, we're not going to fall into that trap. We look. I got a t-shirt on. It says 40 minutes. I mean, it's might be a little corny, but if we're thinking about anything other than that, I mean, it's going to just. Uh, we 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 know what's going to happen. It happened last year. We, we talked about that today. We, we lost, I don't know if you, we lost yeah. two out of our last three games. So, you know, we always talk about learning from history. Well, you know what? We, we, uh, we understand if we're not, and we also understand how much this game means to our opponents. You know, the next opponent we have, we know, we know they're, what they're fighting for and how much a game means to them. Leads to my next question. I mean, obviously, your your last road trip of the regular season coming up, you got Drexel and Delaware, two uh, great opponents. Uh, just, but your team has been very good on the road this year. Uh, what, what would you attribute that to? And, and as you get ready to, to hit the road one more time in the regular season, Coach? 
I, I'd attribute it to him and Elijah and Connor Klementovich, who are an unbelievable seniors. Um, and, and you mentioned respecting our opponents. Hey, hey listen, we're going to play a team that has a better home record than us. Drexel's 10 and 3 at home. We're 9 and 3. And, uh, you know, we, we, we know it. We know they're good at home. We, we, we watch the tapes, we know how good they are at home. I don't want to pass nobody, you know, because that's when you drop the eight ball. So um, I guess we just, like I said, I, we respect everybody so much that we go out there and try to, you know, play everybody at our best. And DeJora, I know uh, uh, last year we actually came up there and did a little feature with you and, and Justin Wright Foreman. Uh, just to uh, talk about, uh, I know he's been to a game recently. Talk about your friendship still, even though he's gone on, you know, and graduated and moved on to the NBA. Uh, where did, what are you hearing from him during this time as your career is starting to wrap up? Um, we, we speak every day. That's still one of my uh, best friends, but um, he's so happy for me. You know, I, I try to I try to be humble about it and tell him I, I got a lot more to get done because we still ain't cut down the nets, you know. So he's like, definitely take care of that. But he happy for me. I'm happy for him. I thank him. I appreciate him very much. You know, Five years ago or six years ago, Jazeera and Justin, they knew who, who each other were, but that was about as far as it goes. And now they are, I mean, lifelong friends. They'll be probably be in each other's weddings and they'll be godfathers to their, to each other's kids. And they'll be, you know, they'll just be, it's a wonderful thing. It's just an awesome, awesome thing. I mean, it's, you know, Sunday was an off day for us. We, we had nothing. We, these, I wanted these guys to take it easy. And Justin's home for the all-star break. Uh, he's home from Salt Lake City for the All-Star break. And sure enough, on Sunday night, Justin and DeJure are in the gym shooting. I mean, it's just, you know, it speaks to how much these guys love each other, how much they love the game, and how much they love Hofstra. And that's the kind of stuff that makes me feel just so good. Wrapping up here with Coach Mahalik and, and senior guard DeShore Bowie, and, and I'll, I'll begin with you, Coach. Uh, I know you, you've talked about a rough practice today, but during, you know, you, you guys have played so well in this six-game winning streak, but – like you said, rough, uh, rough practice today. Where, where would you like to see your team improve here as you guys try to build some momentum before heading to D.C. for the conference tournament? Yeah, I don't know. I think a lot of coaches would say we have to get a little bit better in every area. Um, you know, what, I'm, what I like about these last six games is that some of the guys on the bench are evolving as key uh, contributors. You know, um, Stafford Trueheart's played well over the last bunch of games, and – and uh, Kevin Skripta has come on and given Isaac a break in, in, in the middle. And, uh, you know, when we need some good defense, we got Caleb Burgess to throw in there. When we need another shooter on the floor, we throw Omar Silverio in there. And those guys have, have, have come along. And I think that, that makes us feel good that, uh, you know, with the, if, if, if DeJour needs a rest, we can put Caleb in there and right on down the line. And DeJour, from your perspective, where do you feel like you would see, you, you'd like to see your team improve here in the last few weeks before heading to the conference tournament? Um, I just – we're going to stick – we're trying to stay consistent on defense, you know, letting the offense take care of itself. Everybody on our team can score very well, so we just focus and locked in on defense and let everything else take care of itself. All right, Coach DeJour, thank you so much for joining us and taking time out today. Good luck the rest of the regular season, and I'm sure we'll talk to you soon. Okay. Thanks, thank you Mark. very much. Thanks for having Thanks us. For having us.